Hello everyone, so we're season 3 underway now, um, a new system has been added into the game. This is another way of gaining extra stats for your uh, breakers, uh, and that's via the new toy worker system. So if I come over to the toy worker station here, you'll see this is the one that I currently have. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst, I mean it's pretty good, it's got free level 10 stuff on it. Um, but with this system, there's some cool things you could do with it, as well as limitations to it, and I'll go over that now. So if I go to one of the toy workers here that I have that I haven't upgraded at all, like this high V2 one, you'll see that it's got three blank options and this one level 10 option down here, which is already level like 10. And this is a unique one for the high V2. But if you come over to like all these other ones as well, they'll have their own level 10s on them. Um, this is important because the ones that you see here with this symbol, uh, the star in a circle symbol or a sonic coin or whatever you want to call it, um, those are unique to that toy worker and you will not be able to get that specific upgrade on another toy worker. So I will not be able to get this 50 resources on the start of exploration on something like a Medic V2, vice versa. I will not be able to get Medic V2s on a Gold Hound. Um, so this means by default, the two best toy workers in the game still are going to be your Medic V2 and your Gold Hound. Um, now, you can see my Gold Hound's not upgraded too well, and I'll go into that in a second. But let's go over to one of these ones that have nothing on them and go over the system. So, we're greeted with this screen as soon as you click on your toy worker. You have the modify window and you have an upgrade window. In the modify window, this is how you apply your uh, upgrades to your toy worker, as well as reroll and basically choose what you want on there without much limit uh, freedom of choice now what you can get there are very specific things that you can get but um before we go over the possibilities i'll i'll quickly cover what these little symbols up here on these corners means you'll notice that on these no option boxes and this box here there are already symbols in the corners if you match what you have in here with the symbol that's up here so for example if i was to get this crit icon as one of my upgrades here this will increase the probability for your success rate when upgrading them. So if you don't have it matching, you're a little bit more likely to fail your upgrades, consuming your cron, a little bit of your crons whilst not getting the upgrade that you wished and increasing your limit meter. Now the limit meter is your energy for your toy worker. Once this reaches 100, you can no longer upgrade or modify your toy worker. You'll have to reset the toy worker and start again from the start. That'll take it back down to zero, and you'll work again trying to get up to level 10, uh, like your best option. So the idea here is get one or two or maybe three things all right that you would like on your toy worker. Don't really care about the fourth option, and then work on getting the level 10s on the most important ones. Now, what you can get on these uh, options drastically changes depending on what slot you're putting in or what you're hoping to get. So as you can see, if we come over to this icon, I'm going to keep calling this damage slash crit icon because that's what they call it in this. You'll see that we have a variety of options. You can only ever get lucky enough to get a level three straight from the gate before you have to start upgrading it. But I wouldn't worry about that. I would just get the try get the one that you want and then just upgrade that. Um, but you can see we can get stuff like ignore defense, which is going to be a great one for characters like Lightning who can't defense shred. And you can get stuff like crit chance. This will be good for characters like Uzi and Shuri and stuff where they can't get the crasher. So it's 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 another way of getting these stats that you'd really want. But the most important ones to probably search for and will likely be the, the kingpin and the linchpins that you want and try to get on every slot, not even caring about the set bonuses, is going to be stuff like crit damage. Um, you, you, boss targets wouldn't be too bad if you're a speedrunner and things that of that nature. So already the damage slash crit option has potential for being the highest DPS gains in the game. Then we come over to the weapon slash skill power. Well, the weapon option, should I say? Um, this is gonna to pertain to stuff like weapon power, attack speed, capacity. This isn't that great. I wouldn't worry about it. And then you've got stuff like at higher, at once you're at max health, gain extra stats. These ones aren't too bad. The value is pretty good on them. But because of how easy it is to get weapon power and skill power within your runs, you would likely t skip these in favor for stuff like crit damage and ignore defense. In the skill power options, it's similar. So instead of attack speed, we've got cooldown. And then instead of weapon power, we've got um, skill power. And this is going to be the same all the way down. So pre pretty similar. These are really good. No matter what you get here, you're basically getting value. So leaving one of your slots being lesser than another slot isn't necessarily a bad thing in these case. But then you have your defense options. Personally, I'm never going to use these because defense is a crutch and you should learn to overcome mechanics instead of face tanking mechanics. But 
pretty nice if you're maybe struggling the game maybe set up a toy worker to give you a little bit more defense boost um you can get health increases i think there's shield increases in here somewhere nope just health increases and health regen and recovery amounts the defense ratings aren't that particularly great but all in all this is all right and can pretend potentially be a good boost for characters like um rush or quake where you can then throw on giant's neck and get even more attack power out of just having a healthier health ball uh, to start your runs and then we have the utility options so these are stuff like movement speed defense debuff for, uh, sorry debuff uh, reductions this means if a boss was to set you on fire now that fire doesn't last as long and then buff durations these are in pertaining to stuff like shuri's gustwind uh the 100 skill power on skill use for 10 seconds on stuff like jungler etc it's not a bad stat but again we would favor the damage stats over these survival skill cooldown this could be good for players like sandman if you're playing a supportive role because his um, survivor skill is actually pretty long cooldown but it's also very useful in terms of the crowd control it could provide weapon drop rates this is a dead stat Honestly, I hope they remove this and bring in something better. Uh, walk speed, again, niche stats that don't do much for us, but these are the options you have in the utility. And then we have a beautiful section of targets. So all the targets in the game are basically in this. You can get either a petrify, you can get a frozen, you can get shock, you can get poison burning, etc. or bleeding, but there is no all status, which is good. In my opinion, we have way too many ways of dealing a lots of damage anyway. We do not want more all status because that'll just push further into a status meta, but this is good. And then here you'll see, again, no available options because this toy worker in particular has no unique options, but then if we went over to something like a, um, let's see. If we went over to someone like, say, Goldhound, and we go uh, research, click here, possible options, you'll see here 20 resources. So, depending on the toy worker, um, you will or won't have u unique options that you can get there. But yes, um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But then, as uh, I was saying, like, so now let's say we wanted to upgrade our toy worker. We'll go over to our empty slot. We'll look at the possible modifications we can add in and be like, wow, crit damage instantly. We love crit damage. Let's confirm. Because I want that and it matches, we're gonna keep it in here and then we're gonna come over to the next slot. Now this is the weapon power section. We don't want weapon power stuff. I'm gonna try and build this for someone like say Elsa. So let's click this. We'll go in. Oh look, it gave me a defense option. So here we're not getting any matches. We're not going to get any bonuses, and I don't really care for it, so we can re-modify using more crons. And you'll see here, the limit is going up every time we do this. This means, even whilst re-rolling, looking for your perfect um, upgrades, you're going to be expending energy, and you want to be careful with this, so you don't run out of toy worker energy before you get results that you want. So this is why I'm saying, get a couple that you'd like, and then stick with it so like this doesn't match but this is going to give me a nice bonus so i'm going to take it there this is already looking good for this toy worker and then we're going to come over again let's look damage against burner target again building it for elsa this isn't really going to help too much just re-roll it once more damage against burning re-roll once more weapon power we don't care for that magazine we don't care for that and th this is kind of an issue with this system is you can spend a lot of energy so i've already spent 20 energy just getting some stats that aren't terrible for me ideally we would have something like skill power we would have this stay as crit damage this as crit chance isn't too bad as this is again being kitted out for someone like elsa but now we've got what we want we've got some stuff that we like we'll go over to the upgrade section and you can see here on the one that's matching, the upgrade success rate is 100% to start out with at level 1, and it's going to cost 2 energy every time we want to upgrade, as well as 60 crons. But then if we come over to the one that's not matching, you'll see it's half the success rate. So, in a sense, on the damage, on any damage slot you have, you would prefer it to be matching, and you would prefer it to be the stats you want. If not, prioritize getting at least one of them matching and being the thing that you want and then just power upgrade that to increase the success rate. It goes down every time you um, upgrade as well. So if we upgrade now, translation error, but you see it's went up, it went down by 
Now you can get lucky sometimes, and you can spend your 60 crons, and you'll get an upgrade. Let's see if we get it here. But you'll get an upgrade, and sometimes it'll like twi level it twice. Yeah, like this. So this is really good. It reduces the amount of limit it takes away from you as well. When this happens, we're all happy. This is how I got so many level 10s on my other worker, and because I had an abundance of crons that I've just been spamming with. But anyway, that's been the upgrade system, and I'll show you now on the gold hounds, since this gold hound sucks. Um, if we come over to him and be like, we don't like this, we can actually reset this. And it says here, toy worker options, upgrades, and limit will reset to their additional values. So if we do that, we keep our level 10 unique property of the toy worker, but all these have become zeros. And you can see the limit and everything is back to zero. This is the new system. It's cool. I like it. It's pretty fun. You can see here, it says attack power four as well. This is pretty much meaning... Um how good your toy worker is and you get a little bit of a bonus attack power for having your toy worker be really really good if you can get an ss toy worker you're you're pretty much set on some of the weaker breakers but all i've managed to get is an s so far and this did not take much rolling to get so if you have a lot of crons and a lot of time this would be a great system to play around with but this has been an overview of the system i hope it's been helpful and insightful uh good luck getting the rolls you want and i'll see you later